Hey, Rude Bunny. I am going to list my pet peeves and watch out, there might be a lot. Number one bad grammar, seriously. People need to make their grammar better. Such as going to, not gonna. I know people in the South probably say that. You know, rednecks. They were lame. People who spell every day and any day and something like things like that as two words. It's one word. It's, I don't think it's that hard to figure that out. But. It's just, I don't know. I see it as two words. I'm like, if you type it out on a computer, it's two words and one word, then you get like a little sp space difference. If anybody gets what I'm talking about. Why theme parks still allow you to smoke? I mean, who wants to breathe in? I mean, I breathe in enough of that and exhaust in Chicago alone. I mean, come on. Come on, Disney. You need to lose all the nasty smoking. Move it to somewhere outside of the parks. What about it? I don't think anybody wants lung cancer, okay? My grandfather died of emphysema, okay? I don't want Smoking in general. Ugh. Nastiness. Like I said, who wants lung cancer or emphysema? Or to be on a tank. I've seen that in commercials. It's disgusting. People get themselves to be like 600 pounds. Like my 600 pound life, for example. So I can really with weight issues. Get off your lazy butt and go for a walk. Then after you eat, then you won't possibly end up in a bed for the rest of your life, which kind of sounds like me, but I'm thankfully not 600 pounds. Thank you. Thank you. The thing I have going on right now, roots. I hate roots. I want my hair to stay blonde forever. The only thing my mom gets in her blonde hair is gray hair, but you know, that's what happens when you're old. Ugh, the word old. I just. I don't like certain vegetables. When your electronics start dying on you after like, I don't know, I plug my phone in in the car a lot, and uh, I've had to replace my cords many, many times, and I can't remember how many times, so. My mom has a problem with biting her cuticles. I only have cuticle stuff for that. I have some from the salon, the nail salon I went to to get my before the cruise mani pedi. Actually, I just had a mani. The pedi was I couldn't have it because we had to go home because of the snow. Thank you, once that's over with. Hopefully, it's snow. Please, it's March, for heaven's sakes. If we get any more snow, I'm getting on a plane to Florida, seriously. If I see any more snow. Uh, yeah, let me get me started. The only thing not to get me started on is politics. If 
I hear that, seriously, I'm going to scream. That's why I do not listen to any of them babble on and on forever. And stop blaming George Bush for everything. It's not his fault that all that crazy stuff happened to his president. You know, in case of September 11th, it was the bad guy's fault. And they're all gone, so, you, you know, everybody has to blame somebody, and I tried blaming him. They blame him for Iraq, too. I mean, we had to get rid of Saddam, okay? He was a horrible guy who killed a lot of innocent people. We already went through that on September 11th anyway, so we're even now. I think we lost more troops in Iraq than we did on that fateful morning. Hmm, let's see. And as for Katrina, well, you know, it's not... The only thing to blame is the bad levies. The people should have built them higher and stronger. Then they wouldn't have failed and we wouldn't have water all over New Orleans or... You know, all those other, you know, Gulf War and Biloxi and all the rest of them. I basically know it's the past Christian and Mobile and Waveland, Mississippi. And, get all them. and not to mention Florida before that. And many other times that Florida's been hit by hurricanes. We need to have this problem here. We need to build levees here. Then it wouldn't flood every year. I mean, our fields are what's getting flooded these days. You know, how about when your mother takes your credit card out of your purse? It's like you're being pickpocketed. I mean,. I need my credit card. She needs hers. Another thing, she won't let me order anything online without asking. I mean, what am I, 12? I don't know. I want to order some stuff like from ColourPop, Mac, Makeup Geek. Oh, Amazon, a bunch of places. Really stings. I'm going to have to talk to her. Living in a town. There's not much to do. You have to drive half an hour to get to anywhere fun, like Barnes, Barnes and Noble, Bam. Anywhere. We went to Morrison recently, and the skating rink that I used to go to years ago was closed, and that makes me sad. See, so, you know, this one is seeing, yeah, seeing things close is pretty sad. Like. After, like, in downtown Disney, Disney World, and they closed Pleasure Island back in 2008, and they sold the clubs up. Now there's only one, but it was kind of sad because, you know, it was closed and nothing was... It's kind of like Ground Zero, you know. When there was anything going on, it looked kind of like, you know... Kind of sad nothing was there, and finally there's stuff again there. A site that's been through so much, speaking of September 11th and all. Speaking of that, conspiracy people, come on, seriously. And the, it's like the protesters in Chicago have an idea go home and get it live, for God's sakes. Sorry to anybody who doesn't like. The way this country is right now. So we need to bring Donald Trump in and send BHO to Kenya and Hillary to jail. And make this country great again. My thinning eyebrows. Mostly like right here. I think my benefit brow stuff is making my eyebrows come out. I mean, come on. Other one tangles. I have long hair. It's, you know, like, down to here, like right here. I need to buy, like, three bottles of no more tangles, seriously. And I need to comb out my hair more often, I know. Either that or get it cut short. Like, Betty Page, I don't know if anybody knows who she was. That she was in Playboy. I mentioned Holly Madison from the Girls Next Door's book. I just 
don't know if I like short hair. I mean, some people like it. I'm trying to think of somebody that I like. Frankie said, burn bridge on the Saturdays. My mom, my niece, Lyra. Rhonda, who used to watch my girl from us. Walls. I don't know, there's so many people. Victoria Beckham, when she had short hair, shook her like 98. When she was still in the Spice Girls with, after Jerry had left and all that fun stuff. I like to have better look shorter. You can see her face more than when she had the hair. Hair not like this. Yeah, I don't like hair like I don't like messy hair. I don't like ripped jeans either. My mom's best friend who passed away in 2006. She didn't like Ellen Jackson's ripped jeans very much, which I can relate. I'd like Stop making holes in your jeans. It reminds me of this episode of Who's the Boss where that happened. I don't think Tony liked it either. I don't like One Direction. I don't like Bieber. I don't like Kanye West. I don't like what Beyonce did at the Super Bowl. You know, all lives matter too. Not just African. Yeah, people calling people African American is the correct terminology, not black. I know they they probably complain, but that's why we had all the shootings last year, you know. Then cops. I mean, to think people liked cops after September 11th, but now, because they you know, gave their lives, you know. The police lost 23 police officers in FDNY and Port Authority. I don't know if those count on there, but I don't know the firefighters. And it's. I so said we need to make this country great again and get some real people to fix this. Get this country some money back from the Middle East who doesn't like us. They're all BHOs. Friends, anyway, so what else is new? Get rid of, I don't know, the mayor of Chicago, for example. And he's a friend of him, too. And I only claim that he's a certain person in the White House is from Chicago slash Hawaii. He's from Hawaii, Kenya, not Hawaii, Hawaii. He needs to stop using our money to go to Hawaii. the only one place he needs to be. That's not telling marks. That's beyond the bars of a jail cell in Kenya, which would probably last about five minutes, and then they do what they did at the beginning of the third part of the Caribbean, and that little kid sings. Oh, I don't really like the, watching anybody hang, but that's what they do in the Middle East, Saints. The goats and everything. Like I said, I don't really like talking about bad stuff, but seriously, this world is sending up for that, and I'm really tired of the Middle East and <sighs> what crazy stuff in this country, seriously. If you don't bring Donald Trump in now, this country is screwed. I don't really like. I remember when I first said that word in front of my sister, and she was like, I didn't know you said that word. Occasionally I have the word freaking in there, which is usually when I'm mad, of course. It's like swearing. Another thing I don't like is swearing. I mean, I watch South Park all the time, but no. I don't do it, in... but my friends, my sister did. She passed away in 2011. My friends swear, a couple of them, my best, my besties. being left out. That happened on the cruise. And a bunch of other times. Come on. You're not 13 anymore. I feel like I'm being pulled away from my best friends because of my guy best friend who acts about 12. He 
Kind of pull my best friend away from me. And seriously, I think he needs to chillax for a minute. I don't know what happened. I know he changed. I know I changed after my sister passed. Okay, a long time ago I had this car that's, uh, that was from Austin Powers and it goes one million dollars and then they all laugh and he says, sorry, one hundred million dollars. That card. I don't know which Hallmark would bring back that card, because I want about six of them. Because it died a long time ago. But I have one now, I have two, that's one that says Hallelujah, and then the other one is Celebration by Cool and the Gang, which reminds me of an episode of Friends. Where Chandler says, Sounds like Celebration by Cool and the Gang to Monica, when Ross was trying to play that for their wedding. Just see how many episodes of TV shows I can remember. I can't remember anything I learned from school, and I still remember, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff from that, from TV and movies and music and stuff like that. <sighs> losing stuff. Please, I'm tired of losing stuff. I mean, thankfully I found... A few things. I'm still looking for a makeup geek palette. I'm looking for an Urban Decay palette. I'm tired of having to throw away clothes because of you know, female stuff, which I don't have anymore because I get a, a deep blush out every few months, and right now I'm taking a break from it because. I was supposed to get it done, and then I skipped it because I felt, I don't know, that, I don't know, maybe it was making, why my weight is funny, time flies when you're having fun, why does the time in the year go by so quickly. I mean, the last 16 years of this millennium has been so crazy, and at times, and especially the first, like, five years or so, between September 11th, Iraq, Afghanistan, the tsunami, Katrina, numerous other natural disasters, and so it's not from a president's fault that stuff happening. Those bad guys water in the case of tsunami and katrina two wars i mean 9 11 took us into afghanistan iraq and we you know, did what we had to do and i'm thankful for all of our troops so thanks everybody and their pet views Na your nails chipping and breaking a nail of course i want it Hang nails and, um, and your own toenails. Ugh. When you out of, run out of water, like, right, like it, right before you go to bed, or wake up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom, and it's like, I don't want to get out of my big cozy bed. Especially when it's really cold outside or something, you know. That's why I like the heat in the house. Of course, it's supposed to be like 70 tomorrow, I'm also outside, so. And I still sleep with two blankets on my bed in the middle of March. It is. Sometimes I want to get tattoos, but I worry it would hurt too much. I wish I would make fake ones that didn't hurt and cheaper ones. My best friend has a couple of tattoos and. My other friend had got a tattoo in recently, I think. Let's see in here. Okay. Gwen Stefani used to have perfume, and years ago she stopped selling them. 
along with her purses as well. And I have one of them and I also have her doll right here. And I, she's like my style icon. She we have the same hair color. I just want to say yes, this is my real hair color. It just got dark for years and I finally touched up my mom to the same thing years ago and she had dark hair when she was most of her life. Not exactly living where I want to live. I want to live in Florida because it's warm and there's palm trees and the beach and Disney World. My family lives there. I have friends in Florida. Like the Keys in Miami and a few other places. It, seeing the fact that I hardly ever get to see my nieces and nephew because of my brother-in-law. His lovely lack of communication, which really is very sad, since my sister passed away in 2011. Maybe mine is, of course, not being able to see them. I mean, come on. At least I got to see them in May and in August. I'll be there for 10 days in May, and but hopefully they'll be out of school by then so we can party. No, I don't like casinos, but it, I like it, the disco on the cruise, except for it's very loud in there. And you know, I mean, I had my headphones here with me. Another thing is my headphones dying, so I always have to be plugging them in. I need to get a thing to hang them on to charge. Same with my like my phone and my iPad too. Not being able to allowed to have my uh, my computer in here to update my phone, so I have to run out there to run down the hall to my office, and it's like two doors from down. The, uh, and my cat gets trapped in anywhere. I don't know how many times that has happened. And plus, we had a cat in our house when we came. When he came to visit, and we had a cat and we I put it down on Facebook and then the next thing you know I got a message from this girl saying down the road saying because the cat was in her in the house somewhere and I don't know how that happened that my niece pointed it out my 11 the one who's 11 why don't they say 11 you're young speaking of a well I don't think anybody likes that word it's like the R word. <laughs> Come on, people. Some people have special needs, including myself. I have Asperger's. I got diagnosed in 2000 when I was 17. But anyway, the lady came over and got the cat, thankfully. And so, people, I know some of my friends don't wear makeup. But seriously, I think it makes you look so much better. Sorry, mate. That's why I wear it all the time. And yeah, my hair is in a trolley towel. I have roots and eye bags and a chin I don't particularly like. I was supposed to get chin lipo, but now they, there's this procedure where you don't need to have surgery. Not that I would, but you know. I need lipo on my stomach or tummy tummy, one of those things, but. My mom won't fit the bill for some reason. In case you're always wondering, I stopped talking for a second when she walked by a couple of times, so... That's what's going on in case anybody wants to know. Certain days of the week. Include Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Especially today. I mean, Thursday is okay, but it's still, it's like, I feel like I'm sitting at a really boring office. You know, that's why most of the time I take things to read when I'm in an airport, because 
especially on an airplane for last summer I went to Vancouver and that was like four hours and thankfully I had an outlet and next to me so that it, I think I got and it came undone speaking of flying how about airplanes why can't they make them bigger and give you like well I heard somebody tell me that they had like they were in the window and they had the next two seats next to them empty so they got the whole world to themselves I want that on a bigger seat you know plus size I need a freaking bigger seat of course security is still being a bit of a pain I mean come on people stop traveling with stuff you're not supposed to I eat bottled water I mean, I remember my first plane trip after September 11th, they took away your nail clippers. I mean, my mom had a pocket knife in her purse a couple of years ago when it went somewhere, and I'm like, really? That and lotion, too. I mean, what do they think a bottle of water is bad stuff? The bag I used to travel with, like, ten years ago, they always, security always thought there was a bomb in there, so they, and they had to check it. I mean... I mean, really. Reminds me of the bag, the purse I have from Juicy that they forgot to take the tag out, so every time I go into a store, they think I stole something. It goes beep, beep, beep. I'm like, it's the thing in my bag. I'm constantly telling them, so I'm like a broken record. I think security is having to, the seats, I wish they would make the seats like twice the size, you know. So I can put my stuff under there and not have to put it on the overhead when I need something important like you know, to touch up my uh, my makeup I want to put you know, the thing the three ounce thing rule that's been going on since the London incident which uh, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about that total incident was crazy. My friends were in London when that happened. And so, you have to put, you have to put the, like, uh, some people keep taking crazy stuff with them on an airplane. I mean, come on. It's silly. I have a lot of pet peeves, right? I can't help it. Yeah. The Kardashians, seriously. I know some people like them, including my best friend, but I'm freaking sick of the Kardashians. I wish they'd short stop and some drop or whatever it was in parts of the Caribbean. Why it takes so long on Harry Potter for her to walk through the forest and then the whole carrying Harry back and I think he was dead and everything. I, don't know. I think next time I watch that I'm just going to skip that part of the, the good stuff. Of course it's kind of sad because it's, the series is over since that'll be five years I think in November since it ended. <laughs> I guess it earlier. I remember some stuff but you know, I think other things I and I have a friend who, that I've been to New Orleans with a few t bunch of times, and she remembers everything, including the bad stuff. I'm like, please do not remind me of those, these things. I don't want to remember the bad stuff, okay? I'm sorry if she watched this girl, but really. Please stop. Tattling was another one that she did. And it was... I'm like, come on. It just left me to leave. I don't know, she did that like a couple of years ago. And we were in Montreal. We went to this jazz fest, which is like the one in New Orleans, a little bit of a little different weather and different performers and stuff. Sorry. <laughs> that night I. Well, she locked me out of my room. I mean, come on. Seriously. My phone was dying, and I had to get 
one of the staff named Rachel to let me back in the room and then when I went back in the room I went into my room and then she closed the door on me I'm like when I ate six. Sorry girl if you watch this considering the fact that this video is like hitting half an hour so I really need to wrap it up but I'll take a few more commercials when nothing is on TV. Hmm. I want to move, like I said, I want to move out. I want to get a job. I want to make lots of money. I want to get it some work done myself. I think it's including getting rid of these eye circles. Concealer doesn't hide everything, okay. There's so a few areas stuff on my cheeks, I have stuff on my chin. I have this one on my forehead. I mean, come on. Of course I do need to wash my face, so that's what I'm gonna do it for a bit. I'm gonna do a video on that tonight, so I don't like reading sad fan fiction or uh, the sad anything. This world is sad right now. You know. You made this country great again. If you don't, like I said, we're in trouble. We've been in trouble for years. Uh, my lipstick starts wearing off. I have my very blue on right now. A Nars Gorilla, which is right here. That Nars is not selling us for its part of its birthday gift. And the other color that came with it. I do truly really like. I do wear pink lipstick one time time, but I don't really like the color that comes with it. How about. I don't really like man buns. I mean, I would say this guy's cut your hair off already. I need your Lando Bloom. Yeah. Um, yeah. Harry Styles, I think, is the next one who needs to snip, snip. I would say prior to the crib in. But everybody keeps reminding you of the obvious stuff. Like, I'm hearing you the first, heard you the first 6,000 times already. Please stop. Hold on. Mm -mm. Spilling it on yourself. I do it all the time. Like right now. Especially when you're wearing a white shirt. Eh. What else? Uh, yeah, when your printer starts running out of ink. How about that one? I need to buy like six ink cartridges, but I need to reduce the price in Best Buy. Because I ended up paying like 70 bucks last time for like three ink cartridges. I mean, come on. Have a sale, please. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Why did you hear it, Potter? I would have had my one right here. I should get it. Discontinuing of things. I'm running out of things. And then your mom, then my mom is like, like, I need such and such. And she's like, she has to. Take me to Walgreens, Ulta, Mall of Sephora, as I call it. It's about the size of, I don't know. It's over our yard. And our neighbor's yard, which is still our yard. What else? I don't really like jeans. I tried them on when we were in Chicago. And they just... Maybe kind of uncomfortable. I like skirts. Long skirts. I don't like short skirts. I feel like I'm saying I was just going to bring us. People really need to stop wearing short skirts, seriously. Unless you're at the beach or the pool or something, but... People who are speaking of the beach and pool, people need to stop wearing real, the tiniest bathing suits. Kim Kardashian. And JLo, people with curves, you know. I need to wear one pieces. I have one from Florida. And it holds me in because I need a ton of support. 
Oh. Come on. Cover up. You don't need it. If you're going to show off your legs, cover up your decolletage and vice versa. I don't think you should show off your girls anyway. Show off your legs. And as long as you have good legs, you're pregnant. Like my 600 pound line, some of their legs are huge. I mean, I feel bad for those people because, like I said earlier, I can relate to that. You know, I'm thankfully not that huge, but I really need to exercise. I just kind of get bored of it, and I know why we're taking it to a gym. Not being able to drive, that's one other one. Oh, hello. Okay. Seriously, I need independence. Then my aunt and uncle have conservatorship over me if my mom passes away, and I want to be independent, not live under their rules. I'm not their children, you know. They have kids who are my niece, my, my nieces, my cousins, my first cousins. You know, they're 50 and 47, I think, and then their kids are like, well, one of the son is 18, and then the others are, actually, I'm not sure. They're great people, but I just, I want to live by myself and not have anybody taking, I want to take care of myself and get a job and at Sephora or Disney or somewhere fun, but I really am going to this video for the time being. Oh, I just saw another one. How about when you want to wear something and then it's, you go outside and it's way too cold to be wearing it. Like Thanksgiving a couple of years ago was so cold and we were taking pictures. Thankfully I had a coat on, but when we were in Chicago I had to go to, to Nike and buy a jacket, which then I get shoes too, and then that cost me like 200 bucks for both of those things. Man, Nike, why are your shoes like 200 bucks? Seriously, it's like my phone is worth like 900, and that's my computer's like 2,000 dollars. I wish Mac, I mean, Apple would have a sale on stuff, clean their earbuds. Seriously, they give you they give you the earbuds, but then you have to buy them yourself. They're like 30 bucks. I mean, man, that's him sale, people. Bangs that are like way too short like this. I mean, come on. You need bangs should be down to your eyebrows, apparently. I tried to do this sweepy brow thing where it's like Frankie from Saturdays where it's like this. I like bangs to be certain length. Okay, I don't know. Who can I think of that has bangs? I like Amanda. Her bangs. I like her bangs like that. Sorry, I keep moving, but I'm probably in another studio, so have a great day, everybody.